Welcome hey. back, uh, mm. Yeah, hey, hey, how's, <laughs> hey. It, how's it going, guys? We are back with another episode of the We Don't Know What We're Talking About podcast. Tate, what we got in store for today? Um, we don't know. We don't know. But this That's is right. episode two. I'm your host, Tate Sturgeon. I'm going to go ahead and, and set all these introduce guys yourself. up. I am, uh, I'm Gabriel O'Connell, and uh, I'm the co-host um, of, this, of this podcast. And he's here. Yeah, I am here. Spotify Premium, and then to lose it. You know, yeah, that's actually a, a personal problem of mine that I just recently had. Um, I, uh, it's a hair. Um, I did have Spotify Premium, but uh, me and my, my, oh no, my mom and I have been kind of going through some some difficult financial times, and uh, we uh, we had to get rid of the the Spotify Premium in, in order to in order to survive, save on save on our money, yeah. Well, I don't have that problem, but I got to have a little bit of a taste of Gabriel's problem. It's rough. It's it's really And it's bad. worse on your phone because you can't like select songs. Exactly. It's you just, can't add songs to it's pure. you. It's just pure ads. It's really I'm gonna take my hand. More like they say ads every thirty minutes and then it's mine ten minutes. But yeah. Yeah. That's just uh, a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Uh, we yeah. <laughs> got changing gears here. Yeah, this is something that I've been thinking about a lot, thinking a lot about lately. All right, what you got? And I can't decide on a favorite movie of mine. Favorite movie? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite genre? Let's 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 go to let's go to the the like the basics of picking of picking things out. What's your favorite genre like of movies that you that you watch? What are my options? Well, let's see. We got we got action. We got we got rom com. We got comedy. We got um, there's uh, I don't even know all the things because I personally I just prefer that door was open on the car. Someone just drove by and their door was wide open. It was Jonathan. Anyway, um, I personally just love action movies. Like uh, there's this movie that I like. It's called Taking. It's with Liam Neeson. And unfortunately, his daughter gets abducted, and he has to go on this like mission and like beat up a bunch of people to find his daughter before she's like found. Before, well, before anything bad happens to her, if you catch my drift. Yeah, mm. it's a it's a good movie. I really enjoy it. It's an is acquired, that your favorite movie? It's not my favorite movie. It's 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 definitely up on the list though. Mm. Yeah, I just I really like the How to Train Your Dragon. Those are Those are DreamWorks, DreamWorks does a good job of making in making their movies. The Kung Fu Panda movies mm. as well are also yeah. good. What's the other franchise movie? Uh, well, there's Kung Fu Panda, How to Train Your Dragon. They did do Shrek. Yeah, I've never seen Shrek. It's very good. You should you should watch it. It's kind of sad that you haven't seen Shrek because some people, uh, like myself, consider it to be a, another form of the Bible. Mm. Yeah. Preach. Yeah. So. I, I highly, I highly suggest watching. You seen Rise of the Guardians? I have not seen Rise of the Guardians. No. That's a good one. It is. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay. I'll, I'll put that on the list of to watch. So take, tell me, tell me what's up with all the all the Rubik's cubes over here. Well, and this this uh, Rubik's triangle pyramid. Pyramid. Yeah. Pyramid. Uh, you know, I just you have your Lego minifigures. I do. And your cars and your Lego cars. I just. I don't really have anything else. Really? Rubik's cubes were my life for the majority of my. When I hit puberty, I turned to Rubik's cubes. There you go. There you go. So, this is a seven by seven. It's um, 
got seven edges on each side. Okay. This is a two by two. All right, it's got two edges on each side. Okay. And then can they see that? Yeah, I just want to make sure y'all are seeing. It. So this was the this was the seven by seven. It's uh it's pretty big, a lot of a lot of tiny little squares, and then two by two. And then what what is this? This is a, here. It's called a skew. It's, this um, looks horrifying. It's uh, it's probably one of the more difficult cubes that I have to solve. This it's is, just this is scary, guys. This is you don't want to mess with a guy who can figure figure out how to solve this thing. So don't mess with him. Yeah, that's what I mean by that. We just saw a young girl running from something. It was Keely. It was Keely. Okay, yeah, I think so. We have also this triangle, which pyramid. does it, pyramid. You mm -hmm. say it doesn't seem super hard. I know personally, I couldn't solve it, but I uh, think you could. I don't know. It, it, YouTube tutorials. YouTube after you tutorials. Watch there this you go. Video. After you watch this video, and like, and like it. Yeah, and subscribe. Like and subscribe, baby. That's that's what we're all about. And to everyone who's already subscribed and thank watched, you, and liked. thank you, a very big thank you because I know personally about a year ago. I started my YouTube channel. It was the end of my end of my sophomore year. At about four subscribers, wasn't going very far. Now I'm not saying that I have gone very far since then, but from four to thirty in a year, that's I'd say that's pretty good. And my content has also gotten a lot better, which I I think some people will will definitely attest to. But well, uh, I mean, you've just built a community. I have. It's I have built a community. Spread out and share content that you have a community. Exactly. I actually had one person subscribe. I think it was yesterday. I didn't even know who it was. It, I didn't recognize the YouTube username, so it might have been one of my friends, but I didn't know. So it means I'm getting out there. I have, I have a few videos that have some some substantial amount of views. So it's uh, we're we're climbing slowly but slowly but steady. Hey, that's a good one. We have to film the word of the day. I forgot about that. Yeah, and if you check out Gabe's channel, yeah, yeah. which is featured under my YouTube channel, exactly, you will see all the wonderful content that he puts out, including the word of the day. Which we're going to give you a little sneak peek on what the word of the day is. Tate, is it your day or is it my day? It's your day. It's my day. Well, let's let's think off the top of the head here. What's what's a good what's a good word of the day? Um, give me something that starts with a W. Got anything with a W up in that brain pack of yours? Monotonous. Mono that's definitely not a W, but upside down it is. So monotonous. Let's uh let's find out what that means. I don't where's my phone? I'm not sure. I don't know where my phone is. That's awkward. He does oh, have a phone. I do have a phone. I think I yep, right here. Alright, monotonous. Let's see here. So we're gonna we're just gonna give you a, actually, you know what? Monotonous, that's word of the day. You don't know the defini definition yet, so you're going to have to come to my channel later today and find out what that is. All right. Let's see here. What else we got? Do we, do we have an agenda for today or no? Is it just, uh, I'm we pretty don't sure know. we don't know what we're we talking about. We don't know. Yeah, because we don't know. Well, I'm graduating. You sure. are graduating. That's true. That's I don't know true. if you guys can see much much. Yeah, it's my shirt. It says class, class of 22. Your prime is, is in the way here. I'm sorry. It's all right, it's all right. Class of 22, 2022, baby. He's, I don't know how I made it this far. He's graduating this year. I am a, I'm a junior this year. I'm, a, I'm almost done with, with my junior year, meaning that I will be a senior next year, which is kind of scary. But hey, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had an agenda for today, but the guest who was going to be on here had to pull out. That's sadly. true. They did have to pull out. We asked him, uh, we asked him actually yesterday... And they said they should be able to, and then we asked them today, and they they kind of retracted their offer of being in there. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to take the podcast on the road and see if we can find a guest? No. No. Okay. Okay. I did have a question for you, Gabe. All right. If you could choose any superpower, what would it be, and why? And don't choose one of the white ones that everyone chooses. Can it be the superpowers of a certain someone? Sure. Is it? Okay, yeah. okay. If I could have any powers, it would probably be that of Spider-Man. I Spider-Man has been... Hey, hey, come on, man. Spider-Man has been my favorite Marvel character for almost my whole life. Like, I just love... It would be so cool to just be able to just swing around and have super strength and be able to, like... Do cool things. Which Spider-Man, though? Like, do you want the stuff that's inside of you? 
Like, no, just, that's kind of gross. I think I think for me personally, I would like uh, the suit that Andrew Garfield wears in his first Amazing Spider-Man movie with all of the tech from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie suit mixed together. Interesting. Yeah. I've, I've always liked that suit. And so your, Spider-Man's your favorite superhero? Is that... He's definitely up there. I would like his powers, but he's not my favorite superhero. Mm. Captain America, I think, is my favorite superhero. Oh, so you're a racist. <laughs> well, well, no. No, not entirely, because I'm black. But Oh, that's right, you can't. I can't. So I, can't. I like Captain America the most. Whoa, ho, hey. Yeah, I don't. You can't. I don't. Okay, okay. Robert Downey Jr. for me. Okay, yeah, I can, I can dig that. Iron can Man. That. Iron Man. I got the glasses. He does. I'm he does. Done. Edith glasses, baby. That's what it's all about. I love it. It's great. I'm going to take them off now. All right, all right. Hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have Dylan here today. He uh, he had a family accident, and uh, his um, his cat actually killed his mom. So that was really tragic for him. Um, so yeah, prayers out to Dylan. Dylan and his. Uh, I think we should just family. give him a round of applause. A, a round anyways. of applause for Dylan, just, anyways. Yeah. Because I know he's gonna be editing this later. Yeah, he's gonna. Be, yeah, yeah. He's he just does so much work behind the camera that you guys don't even this see. This ship wouldn't have even taken off without Dylan. Without Dylan. Without, without yeah. There's just, yeah, exactly. And no one, nobody ever gets to see him. He's so humble. He doesn't even want to be seen. He, he doesn't even, like... He doesn't do it to be seen. Exactly. He does it so we... Exactly. He does it so that seen. we can be seen. Yeah. He's actually he's actually helped me on a lot of my editing projects for, for my own channel. Like, um, all of the, 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 the day episodes for the, for the high school trip that mm -hmm. uh, Tate and I went on, he helped me a lot with the editing for that. Um... Yeah, he's just a big a big help for for our career in the uh, in the YouTube industry. So it's fun. It's fun stuff. For those of you that don't know, we went on a trip to North Carolina, Asheville, Asheville, North specifically Carolina. Asheville, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. Gabe, what was your your favorite part of that trip? Favorite part of that trip, I say, it had to be going going to see the Biltmore House. That uh, mm -hmm. the house was it was it was huge. It was a really big house. They had a ton of like. Like really awesome architecture, just so many like rooms. Rooms. So many yeah. Rooms. Can you look up how much square foot? Square, square, feet, square footage. Yeah. The square footage. Square footage. What about what about you? What was your favorite part? Oh part man, today? I really enjoyed the root beer from. Root beer from yeah, the that was place. good. That was my how favorite. About, how about a favorite place that we went <laughs> yeah. to? Um, hmm. man, I really enjoyed the Biltmore. Yeah, Biltmore. I enjoyed the whole thing really. Yeah. But. I really enjoyed climbing down the side of the mountain after you. Me, yeah, that was that was a fun time. So we went on a hiking trip. I think it was the second day of our trip. We went on a hiking trip um, up into like this big mountain range area, and um, there was this one spot where you it was kind of like a great game trail, and you could go down like this little rocky cliff. And no, 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 no. I'm talking about the time when we had to go back and get the cars. Oh, and I like almost fell to my death. Exactly. Well, here's the funny thing. I he almost fell to his death. I did fall, just not to my death. I didn't fall. It hurt. Like I could have if I didn't. It hurt a lot falling. Let me see. Let me see that the square, square footage. footage. Yeah. The Biltmore is amazing. If you guys get a chance to go, I would definitely recommend it. First, we got to graduate. Exactly. Exactly. Do good in school, kids. I did not do well in that Latin quiz. I'm just gonna be honest with really? you. Really? Really? Like I didn't study at all. So I think I passed. But I, studied, I studied today. So we took a Latin quiz today. We had a Latin quiz for our, our Latin class. Um, let's see here. You, you tell me about it. I'm still looking up this. Yeah, side. look at this. I'm looking. I'm looking. All right. Well, we have a Latin class, and normally we're able to memorize the Latin that's going to be on the quizzes. So we don't really have to know how to translate the Latin, unless you're Jonathan. 175,000 square feet. Oh. Goodness. That's that's a big number. a house that has three thousand square feet is a big house in my opinion and this Biltmore has a hundred and seventy thousand square feet it's insane one hundred seventy five hundred hundred seventy five one hundred and seventy five thousand yeah it's it's crazy it's crazy it's a huge house it is a huge and they house. have a garden and a pond and multiple not areas. not even a garden it was like a like a full on like botanical like museum right but like outside. 
Someone loves their plants. Yeah, so they, they love their plants. There was also like horses and sheep and cows and goats and chickens. And horses. And horses, yeah. There were the horse time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There was a creamery as well. There was. There we actually um we went to there was a gift shop in like after right after you finished the tour of the Biltmore house, there was like this gift shop area which I bought a Lego dog because why would I not? But uh, it was uh, yeah, it was definitely a good time. That trip was that trip was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's it's almost sad to to realize we're here on a podcast. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been doing the trip, but instead we're filming now. But uh, next year, when I'm not here and you guys go on another trip, I'll where's somewhere you'd like to go? Video, uh, somewhere I'd like to go. I don't know. We weren't we originally supposed to go to Chicago this year. We were supposed to go to New York. New York, okay. Or Washington D.C. It was one of those two. Well, I've been to Washington D.C. and it's great. You guys, if you get a chance, you should definitely go. Washington D.C. is just so cool. I went about four or five years ago, and it was it was awesome. Um, but yeah, I would I would like to go to New York. I've never I've never been to the metropolis area. The, the Big Apple. Apple. See, we're just so on point. We're just the the chemistry is just insane. Where's that coming from? I think we're at the halfway point break. Oh man, a break. Hello and welcome back after a break. I don't know, we'll probably we'll probably put a we probably Let's go. Alright, alright. We probably put a commercial in. I don't know what we did yet. <laughs> too funny, too funny, this guy. Someone text no, no, no. Okay, hey. As if someone would text I you. Know, really. Really. What were you saying? Yeah, um <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to the All episode. Right, right, right. Podcast episode. Alright, coming back with the question. Alright, what question? And drop you? drop uh, your response to this question in the comments. Exactly, exactly. Whether you like the beach or the mountains better beach, for a vacation. Beach or the mountains. Okay, and let's let's lay up, let's lay up some some ground rules. All right. One week vacation. One week. You get to choose the beach or the mountain. All right. And you get right. to choose in what way you will be staying. Like, will okay. you stay at a house, hotel? What about location? Yeah, you can choose. That. Oh, any location. All right. All right. Yeah, definitely drop your your uh, answer in the. In the yeah. comments, yeah. But you have to listen to the rules, because if you don't listen to the rules, you're a bad, bad girl or boy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna ignore cut what he just we're said. Gonna, Dylan, you see this? Cut the yeah, when you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cut. Okay, so beach or mountains? You know, I'm gonna have to say beach, and it's gonna be like one week, like getaway, cabin in the woods, like at the beach. No, you said beach. I did? You said, I'm going to have to say beach, and it's going to be a one-week getaway in a cabin. <laughs> did I actually say beach? You did, bro. Dylan? Did I, I say beach? Dylan's not here. Dylan's like, not here. When no. you watch this. Looking out the window at nothing. Did oh, I wait, say wait, beach? I don't know. Look at that. Where? Is it here? No, it's... Is it? What? There's a bird. Oh. Don't let the I don't know if I said beach. I'll probably look back at this and highlight when I said beach. He definitely because... said beach. Okay. Unless well, I'm going I meant crazy. to say mountains. I meant to say mountains, like a one week vacation in the mountains. Honestly, either where so I used to go hiking at this place called Heritage Creek. It's out in Prospect. Great place. If you guys like hiking and you like the outdoors, give it a look because it is oh, it's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I would have to say either at Heritage Creek, like a one week like cabin getaway at Heritage Creek, or a one week cabin getaway where we went for the hiking trip in Asheville. Okay. That place was amazing. Same house or like just that general area? Honestly, yeah. I, I, I'd stay in that same house again. Yeah, that... I think I'd like to go higher up on the hill higher just to see hill. what's up there because I, I know the road goes live up. In, live in the tree house that we, that Ooh, we found. The tree we did, house with a mattress. We did find a tree house with a mattress uh, on the Asheville trip. You can uh, you can find out about it in my uh, day one video on my YouTube channel. Anyway, anyway, it's... Uh, Okay. We have another question. Well, I mean, I want to answer the question. Oh yeah, that's right. What? What? Uh, what? Is, that's funny. No, sorry. What? Uh, what would you? 
What would you prefer? Do you want beach, one week beach trip, or one week mountain trip? Oh, that's so hard because I love both. We never established if we could go with anyone, though. Like if it was uh, just us. We didn't know. I've never been to Colorado, really? but I really want to go. Jonathan has been, and he said it's it's quite amazing. So did Kent. Kent Evans. Kent Evans. Anyway. Kent Evans. Kent Evans. I have a gonk droid. He does. Anyway, back to, yeah, okay. back to the question. Back to you. Let's focus back on to you us. Back to, no, we're focusing on you right now. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Beat your mountains, man. I just feel like there's so many beautiful beaches that I, I've seen pictures of. There are. And haven't. Absolutely. Drink prime. Yeah. Prime hydration. Anyway, back to his answer. There's answer. so many beaches that I haven't seen, and I love just chilling at the beach. But if I'm spending a week somewhere, and it's like a really nice log cabin with a hot tub, a pool, a pool table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with the boys, I'd probably say some kind of cabin in Colorado. Like not even having to go on a hike, mm -hmm. but still being able to if we wanted to. Okay. But just you know, chilling in the cabin with the boys would be pretty fun. If I that would be a lot of fun. I think for a honeymoon, when I get married, I would probably rather go to. The He's gone there. If I get there. He, really. He, so if you're single and man, I really want to go to the beach with my husband or for a honeymoon. Or Tate, if or you're just single and you want to go to the beach with Tate. I mean, I'm down this summer. Just let me know. Exactly. My so number is... I'm not he's gonna, not going to give you his not, number. I'm gonna, not going to let that happen. No. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Dylan, do not put my number on that screen. Don't put it. If you see this, Dylan, which you will because you edit the videos. Don't, uh, don't... You know what we can do? We're not going to do that. No, that's a good idea. Um. Anyway, let's see. Do we have any other questions? Let me think of any other questions. I think we're kind of wrapping up. That's wrapping all up? that we okay. kind of didn't know we were going to talk about today. That's true. But we did. And That's we true. answered some great questions. We did answer some good questions. And um, honestly, if you have an answer to any of the questions that we asked, drop a, drop a comment in the comment section. Or if there are Where questions that you want us to ask next time. That's true. If you want us to know what we're talking about on this podcast, hit us up in the comment section with a comment. Anyway, anyway, uh, I think did that's you want to all... say something about me? About you? Yes. You're great. Thank you. You're welcome. So, he has a channel now. No, you were going to say that I'm single. Oh, that's right. He is single. What? We already said that. Oh, should we I say... We were going to drop your number he on the is... screen. I don't even know. He's Gabe. I'm we Gabe. Said that. We said that last oh, time. Oh, I think that means our time's up. Our time is up. Well, there we go. Okay. Hope y'all have a great day. We're going to go ahead and cut it off right here. Um, yeah. Have a good day. <laughs>